Good morning, retirees. I know you're gathered in the beautiful city of San Diego. I wish I could be with you, but I did have a previously scheduled appointment today. So this is the next best thing, but please know, and I know we're not supposed to have favorites, but oh, you are one of my favorite groups to meet with. I always love being with you. I wanna thank Paradise Village and Harry Bennett, Mario Perez, and all those that helped make this day possible for you. And I know you're gonna have a wonderful day together as you worship together, as you listen, and as you eat together. Enjoy each other today. I also wanna say thank you to you. I don't think we do that enough. You are such a gift to our church. As retirees, you serve in so many ministries and our churches in Southeastern California Conference. You bring wisdom of experience and thank you. Thank you for that. I know many of you have served as denominational employees and you've made our conference, our churches, richer and deeper as a result. So today I wanna to say again, thank you. So let me share some financial information as to how we ended up 2016 with you. We had a 2.56% tithe gain. That was incredible. Now we had an extra Sabbath. We had 53 Sabbaths in 2016. December had five Sabbaths in it. That won't happen again for several years, so we always get a gain in that year. If we took out that extra Sabbath, we only had a 0.8% tithe gain, but that's still, that's still a gain. We're grateful for it. The generosity, the faithfulness of our members, including you. We had over 52 million, almost $53 million in tithe contributed through Southeastern California Conference in 2016. For local giving, giving to churches, ministries, building funds, almost 50 million. So that was almost $103 million given throughout our conference territory. What generosity, what hearts of faithfulness that represents. And we're so very grateful. Now membership wasn't taking the same trajectory in 2016. We actually declined in membership. And for the first time in many years, our membership declined below 70,000. A lot of churches cleaned up their books this year. And while we recommend that churches do that on an ongoing basis and really seek to find those members and reach out to them and try to bring them back into the churches, we had an extraordinary amount of cleanup this year. So even though we had baptisms and profession of faith and membership transfers into our conference that were very healthy and very, very high, we had more members that were dropped. So our hope is here in 2017 and forward, we can keep growing. We want to grow the kingdom of God. As we look forward to 2017, we are celebrating a major anniversary in our denomination. This year is the 125th anniversary of the little book, Steps to Christ. That little book of inspired words that have blessed so many of us as we've read it over and over again and shared it and, and the impact that this had on lives. We're encouraging every church member to read it again. We're going to be doing that at our office. I purchased one for our administrative committee and our office team and encouraging everyone to read it again and to rediscover once again the awe and wonder of what it means to follow in the steps of Jesus and the transformation that gives our lives. This year also in Southeastern California Conference, we'll be officially rolling out our strategic plan. We've talked to you about this. In fact, you've been such a part of helping to shape and form those strategies. What's really important to us in Southeastern California Conference as we, as we move into the future we're calling this a compass for our future, and I've, I've shared with you before the four priorities. Number one is engage. Engage the next generations, our youth, our young adults. And you've said to us over and over again, we want the church to help us 
keep our grandchildren engaged. We want them to have welcoming church environments. So we're going to be working on that. In May, we're bringing all of our pastors together, and we're going to have an all-day meeting over in the Loma Linda area, focusing particularly on young adult ministry, youth, young, uh, youth ministry, and sharing ideas about how to have engaged, welcoming churches across generations and to develop them as leaders in our churches. The second one is evangelism. We want to keep growing the kingdom of God, and we want to keep reaching out deeply into our communities and identifying the needs that are there and, and how we can minister to people. We are going to, in September, be having a, an evangelism summit where we'll bring all of our churches together and, and we'll be talking about how we can best reach out in our communities in an ever-changing environment we also will be sharing ideas and trying to inspire each other and learn from each other as we do this work together. Education is the third strategic priority. We want to have a strong, ongoing K-12 system. Now these are all overlapping, like we've shared with you before, but we're going to be intentionally putting a think tank together and, and working on many things that we hope will grow our enrollment and working on marketing and branding throughout our conference and supporting our schools as they, again, reach out to parents and try to make our education system accessible and affordable to all people. And then the fourth is equip, making sure that Every member in our conference can be involved in ministry using their spiritual gifts, their passions that they have, and how strong our ministry will be when it's all hands on deck. But we want to make sure every person is equipped, mentored, coached. So we've asked every department to make sure there's some intentional planning this year for training events and for reaching out to their counterparts in every church. Make sure they know their names and who's filling those positions and work with them very personally. In January, early January of 2018, we'll be having a couple of conference-wide training events where we'll come together. And I think it'll be so fun to have elders and deacons and Sabbath school leaders and youth leaders and treasurers, everyone all together as we seek to grow in our capacity to do the ministry that God's called us to do. So we look forward to 2017. And again, I want to say thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day down in San Diego. Know that you're loved. We care for you deeply. And I want to extend a, a very heartfelt invitation to you. We do value you. You bring so much wisdom and so much background and experience. If there's ways that we can help integrate you even more into the ministries of the conference, please talk to us. Talk to Mario. We need you. God bless you today and have a fun, meaningful day in San Diego.